You've been saved and serving the Lord now for 73 years. 73 years, yes, sir. Right. Tell us, tell us what your walk with the Lord has been like. My walk with the Lord has been gracious to me. Mm -hmm. Very good. I've been through a lot of, lot of difficulties of life and family, and sometimes the church family and treat me well with family, but I stuck with the Lord. Right. Yeah. You know, my brother, I got saved on the little Ferguson and Brother Fred. Right. And I was toward on the name. Right. And up to the day I haven't lost I haven't missed a touch. Wonderful. Not a touch from the Tate Water property. Right. You I'm told that you were when you got saved, you were actually walking to a dance in a nearby yes, cell. Yes, tell us a yes. little bit about that. You want that. me to tell you about that? Yes, sir. Um June the thirteenth. Wednesday, June the thirteenth. Mm -hmm. 1944, I was walking from Tom Bay to go to Roxanne to dance. I was a good dancer. All right. I was get paid to dance. I had to get on my back and pick up a strapping on my back. I, right. People would pay me to see me dance. When I got on in the bottom, a waist said to me, no dance tonight, revival. And I stood still and I told the young man who was walking with me, I said, you know, I ain't going to do this, and I'm going to revival. It's a revival being held right on the corner right here. Mm -hmm. And I walked from the, uh, in the uh, highway down through the bottom, up, and right come right down to the church, mm -hmm. right on here. And that's where I got saved. Okay. 13th of June, 1944. Wow. You, you, you are now being recognized as a hero, a national hero in, a the, national church, hero. in the Church of God of Prophecy. Yes. What does that mean to you? Well, look here. <laughs> if I can explain to you all what that means to me, mm -hmm. heaven takes record of it. Wow. I, I highly appreciate your love, gratitude, and feelings towards me as a child of God and a member mm -hmm. of the Church of God Right. Well, I think it's well deserved. Now, yes. you, you've also been. Uh, you have a very interesting case, and I say that because you became a member, as you said, under Bishop Fred uh -huh. and Sister Lily, uh -huh. who we are also honoring posthumously as national heroes. Hero, yes. Tell I us what that. it was like to, to work along with Bishop Fred and Sister Lily. When I joined the church and I was first appointed, my first appointment, the 16th of July, 1944, as a youth leader, mm -hmm. a Sunday school teacher, at night time, in me going home, my mama, we didn't have no electric rice, I wanted until my mama sat down patching my dad's old coat. I would take my Bible in my hand, I'd go lay on the floor, just like between my mama and leg, mm -hmm. and I would ask her to read, I'd say, Mom, what does this mean? And she would tell me the next day, i go to Brother Fred and Sister Lydia about the same question. Right. And I, when I think of that, I think about Paul said he was toward under the feet of Gamaliel's. Right. I was toward under the of Sister Lydia okay. and my mommy. All right, very good. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, uh, and again, uh, you also, I think you are the last remaining active pastor that was appointed under Bishop Moss. Yes. Bishop Alvin S. Moss, who uh, again is another one of our national heroes that right, we have yeah, been honored. I, I really how, how, does it, how does it feel for you to be honored the same time as Bishop Fred and Sister Lily? along with Bishop Alvin S. Moss. You know, Brother Gibson, when you think of that, that gives me a history, mm -hmm. what it could be like in heaven, you know. Amen. You know when the Lord told Abraham Moses to go into new land, mm -hmm. and he didn't know where he was going? Right. He said, go to dwell with the eyes of Abraham mm -hmm. and Jacob. Mm -hmm. One day, by and by, I'm going. You're going. I'm going to meet Brother Fred and mm -hmm. Bishop Morris and Brother Frank Cunningham and those old prophets who were here before me. Okay. Uh, you've been you've been now the senior pastor at Topham Bay Church. I think it's 48 years. 48 now. years. That's a very long time. Yeah. Tell us, what's your best memory of the Topham Bay Church? My memory of the Topham Bay Church was the prophet. We never had the most members I know in all my history. We never had more than 21 members. Okay. 
in Sister Little Child now, then I got saved. I, let me start for you. When they first came here, there was a call to change the God. We used to call us jumper people. Right. People didn't like the teachings. Mm -hmm. But they would help us in every way for them, but we couldn't get no one to join the church. To join, okay. I find that interesting, concerning me, mm -hmm. knowing that as the people of God, reaching out to one goal and being denied by many people. Right. When we were building the first old church on the hill, Top and Bay communists wouldn't allow Brother Friend to go on the communist land wow. to get a rock to build a church. Mm -hmm. We had one old lady here named um, my banner, mm -hmm. that was Timmy Gibson, mother-in-law, grandmother-in-law. Okay. She allowed us to go on her property to get rocks to build church. Wow. So all those experiences I know from the church of the property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 it fills my heart with joy to know up to this day, I'm still able, willing, and prepared to serve whatever capacity, mm -hmm. whatever we go through, mm -hmm. I'm prepared to go through it because of the Lord and His Word. Now you are you are 93 years old. Yes, sir. And I have not had the opportunity to speak to many 93 year olds. Uh -huh. But in sitting down and talking to you, your mind is sharp and fresh. Yeah. And you can still remember that the day you got saved was actually a Wednesday. Yes. Uh, you can remember dates far as far back as 1944 and some of the things that were happening. You know how how have things changed on the island over the years. Um. Things have changed rapidly. What is happening on the island of Eleuthera, particular mm -hmm. Top of Bay. Mm -hmm. There was a time, Top of Bay, every young man, every young woman, boy, girl, we went to prayer meeting Sunday morning, Sunday school, Sunday morning, church service, Sunday school, Sunday evening, VLB, Sunday evening, night service. Mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, all churches in town they were full, young, middle-aged, and old. Right. But the rap is changed so rapidly now, you can hardly get people to come to church on Sunday. Wow. But my, my blame for that, you know, I blame, I don't, you know, I don't, have, I don't buy nothing. Mm -hmm. I blame the government for it. Okay. I don't know which government, I don't know which one to blame. But you can find one child on Sunday to go fishing or go to the ballpark in those 50s or early 60s. You had to be in church or be up the road. Right. But after we started this ball game and sailing and... Things have changed. Okay. That people don't see it. Okay. I listened uh, last year, this year, a, a particular minister, a bishop, Sunday morning, instead of him inviting people to come to church, he was inviting them to come to go watch them sailing. I said, now, Lord, you hear that. How could the church, or how could people go, how they want to, how could people change the children? Right. When you come to the end of the road and life's sun is about to set on you, how does Pastor Sam want to be remembered? <laughs> Boy. I want the church of God of prophecy to remember when I am left this night, when my Lord has seen fit to take me home, I want you all with a clear conscience to say, well done, that's one servant God has called home for his reward. Amen. 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 Pastor Sam, thank you so much for sharing this time with us. Uh -huh. Again, the church is recognizing you as a national hero uh -huh. in the Church of God of Prophecy. And so I just want to say on behalf of the National Family Life Ministries of the Church of God of Prophecy, a hearty congratulations to you. You run well and may the Lord continue to bless and, you. And I'm going to keep on running. I, I can see that. <laughs> I can see and that. And I want you to send my care, my love, back to your to your members yes, sir. and let them know how much I appreciate it and I feel welcome and now that I know that the church of the prophet cares from first hand. Amen. Yes, we care. <laughs> Trust me, we care. I want you to know that. Yes, sir. The Lord bless you. 
and keep you. One thing I require from the church, when I'm going home to meet my reward, okay. I require from the Bahama brass band to attend to my funeral. All right. Yes, sir. You put that on record. All right. Yeah, if it's 10 years or 40, next 40 years, I require that from the church water property yes, for the sir. neighbor. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Sam. <laughs> the Lord bless you. God bless God you. Bless you.